and this is Kalpana here so in this video we are going to resolve a fraction into partial fractions okay so let's get started problem resolve 3x by x minus 6 into x plus 3 into partial fractions so we are given a fraction 3x by x minus 6 into x plus 3 okay so let us consider it as p of x by p of x. We are having p of x equals to 3 into x power 1. So the degree of p of x is 1. And now consider q of x. We are having q of x equals to x minus 6 into x plus 3. So you can multiply it, right? So you will get x into x is x squared plus 3x minus 6 into x is minus 6x. Minus 6 into 3 is minus 18. So this is equals to x cube minus or not x cube, x square. x square minus 3x minus 18. Okay. So the degree of g of x, not g of x, we have taken it as q of x, right? So the degree of q of x is 2. Okay. So, we have degree of P of X is less than degree of Q of X. So, from this we can say that the given fraction is a proper fraction. Okay. So, we are given a proper fraction. So, given proper fraction is So, you could write it as In the numerator you are having 3x So, you can write this 3x as 2x plus x And write the denominator as it is. Now we can include plus 6 and minus 6. So that if you consider 2x and 6 from these two, you can take 2 common. If you take 2 common from these two, you will get 2 into x plus 3. Okay. Likewise, if you take plus x and minus 6, you will get x minus 6. See, you are having x minus 6 in the denominator and x plus 3 in the denominator, right? So, you could write it as 2x plus 6 plus x minus 6 by x minus 6 into x plus 3, okay? Simply, I am taking this plus 6 in the second place, that is, as a second term. And I'm taking this x as a third term. Okay. So now you could write it as equals to. 2x plus 6 by, simply you can split it into, split the total fraction into two fractions, right? Because you are having two terms, consider it as two terms. 2x plus 6 as one term and x minus 6 as another term. So you could write it as 2x plus 6 by x minus 6 into x plus 3 plus x minus 6 by x minus 6 into x plus 3. Okay. So, in the first fraction, take 2 common. So, you are going to take 2 common from these two terms. You are having 2x and plus 6. So, if you take 2 common, you will get x plus 3. Okay. 2 into x is 2x plus 2 into 3 is 6 by x minus 6 into x plus 3 
write this fraction as it is. We have not cancelled x minus 6, right? So now we are going to cancel x plus 3 in the first fraction. x minus 6 in the second fraction. So we'll get Three x by x minus six into x plus three equals to two by x minus six plus one by x plus three. Therefore, three x by x minus six into x plus three equals to two by x minus six plus 1 by x plus 3. So we have resolved a proper fraction into partial fraction. So now we can check whether we have done it correct or not. I mean, let's check whether we are right or wrong. Fine. So consider RHS part. We are having 2 by x minus 6 plus 1 by x plus 3. Now take the LCM of the denominators x minus 6 and x plus 3. So let's consider x minus 6 first. So x minus 3 into 1 is x minus 6. Alright. x plus 3 as it is. Now take x plus 3. 1's are x plus 3. So the LCM of x minus 6 and x plus 3 is x minus 6 into x plus 3. Okay. Then uh, numerator you will get 2 into x plus 3 plus 1 into x minus 6 which is equals to 2x plus 2 3 is a 6 plus x minus 6 by x minus 6 into x plus 3. No cancel plus 6 and minus 6. 2x plus x is 3x. By x minus 6 into x plus 3. Which is our LHS. So, this is right. Okay. So, the partial fraction of 3x by six, x minus 6 into x plus 3 is 2 by x minus 6 plus 1 by x plus 3. Okay. So, this is our correct answer. Fine. So, we have seen a problem from partial fractions in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye-bye.